Risky Behavior. Yo, what's up, man? How y'all doing? Welcome back to Risky Behavior. I wanted to bring y'all another my favorite Karen video. Not like my favorite Karen video, but like this is one of my favorite Karens. And it just so happens in this particular video, both of my favorite ones were well, two of my favorite ones, right? Because I got a lot of favorite ones, but two of my favorite ones, they came back to back. The first one is a white woman. And the person who's narrating this video says that she's getting put off the plane because she is upset, not complying. She wants her pet to sit on her lap on the plane or whatever. Right. And it's a disagreement, I guess, with the people on the plane. You know, them people on planes don't don't play you. <laughs> if you don't listen to them, they just put you off the plane. It's their right, I guess. Whatever. Um, and the next one is going to be, uh, a black, I assume gay guy or whatever. Right. But one thing I wanted to point out and the reason that I am doing this video is we got to stop with the filming of people all the time. And yes, my name is risky. So I'd love to watch the videos that people film, but I don't think people consider the fact that when someone is going through an embarrassing moment or someone is not all the way there mentally, they're mentally unstable, putting your cameras in their face and further ridicule and embarrassing them doesn't help the situation. I can't help but feel that in some of these situations that happen, if everyone would just be a little bit more mature, a little bit more empathetic, a little bit more understanding, a lot of these situations wouldn't blow up the way that they do. And it's kind of easy for people to just point at the crazy person and say, Look at them. They're flipping out, but never think about what they're adding to the situation. You know, it's kind of irritating when you're going through a embarrassing moment. Maybe you did something wrong. You're being escorted uh, off the plane, whatever, and everybody's phone is out embarrassing you, you know, because it's like. That's the messed up thing about the Internet, right, is because you can't just go through an embarrassing moment and move on with the rest of your life. No. People want to film you and they want you to relive it. However many times people watched the video, they want you to relive it that many times. And. I've enjoyed all these videos i don't know why for some reason tonight i just i thought about that i thought in some situations are we wrong to pull out our phones this person's already embarrassed if we would just be quiet look ahead don't give them any attention don't talk to them let the employees and the authorities deal with that person because there's no sense in us with the background noises, cameras out, filming them. We're just hyping the situation up. That's all we're doing. That's just my thoughts. I know some people are going to agree. I don't really care. Put it in the comments. I would love to have the conversation with you. But sometimes we take just a simple thing because people that are mentally unstable, if all of us are quiet and look, we ain't saying they ain't got nobody to react to, nobody to fuss to. It's just between them and that in employee. And that's just my thought. Let's go ahead and jump into the video. 
I don't know if anybody will agree with me or kind of see what I'm saying. I understand the need to film, but it isn't necessary all the time. But I don't want to ramble. Let's go ahead and jump into the video. This entitled Karen couldn't grasp the idea that she can't bring her pet on her lap for the trip. She starts arguing with the staff and then loses it on a guy recording her craziness. Because my dog was on my lap. We'll have a conversation in the gym. Why? I Grab your stuff and come with me, ma'am. I'm not going to ask you again. Oh. No problem, ma'am. Who did she just strike with the bottle? The guy that's recording me with his you. cell phone. That's who I threw it at. Calm down. Calm down. You asked. I'm telling you. Calm, calm down. You guys have been nothing but rude. That's fine. Calm down. That's fine. That you and see, that's what I'm talking about. I'm not here to argue what's right and what's wrong. My name is Risky Behavior. I would never. I just can't argue right and wrong. I can only argue what is. That's it. I'm mentally unstable. It's obvious. I'm screaming. I'm yelling. And this is the part I don't like, right? I, I don't know if this person did it or not. But here, I'm mentally unstable. I ain't rap too tight. This right now is between me and the employees of the plane. I feel like they're treating me wrong. So I'm arguing with them, but it's between me and them. And you're going to have your phone out recording me in my embarrassing moment. And you yell out something. You've make you've made yourself a target. And what you'll do is you'll make yourself a target and then you'll come down there and, and press charges. And that's what I don't like. Why are you even antagonizing it, making it worse? Don't say anything to her because the thing is, she's having a mental breakdown. I want this plane to take off so I can get where I want to go. Please do not make this situation worse than what it already is. Shut up. Let them deal with her. They finna come in there and they finna taser and we finna get a really, really good show. So if you could just be quiet. It's like the teacher used to say, if everybody be if everybody shut up, it'll be quiet in here. We're taught that as kids. If everybody shuts up, it'll be quiet in here. Why are you saying anything to her? It's, it's obvious. Something's wrong. You don't know. Some people ain't got that switch, you know, in their head that makes them, you know, like calm down and just realize, you know, I'm not going to win this one. You know, I'll just get off because they might put me off of this plane. But if I'm really nice, somebody will help me out and say, look, I'm going to go ahead and help you out. I'll get you on another flight. You might have to wait, you know, a minute. But I'll help you out. Maybe. I don't know. Or at least you don't get arrested and, you know, go to jail. You know, the guy says in the video, you know, hey, they, they'll give you money back. But my thing is, once again, if you are the people 
standing around with your phone out. Record quietly, I guess, at least. But is it right? Well, I shouldn't say right. I said I ain't going to argue right or wrong. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to be a hypocrite. Most Because most people look at things as right and wrong. Is it right for y'all to antagonize the mentally unstable person? Or should we allow people whose job it is to handle that situation to handle that situation? That's a rule that I need to calm down. There's rules. There's rules and I followed them. And I put him in there. And you guys still drove up. Nobody acting this way flies on a flight with us. Okay, f*** you. Okay. Are there times when you would love to have another address or phone number to use instead of your home address and personal number? Wouldn't it be? Eat the out of my way. Wow. Well, I want to find out. Ma'am, hold on. You, you told me to get off your those. plane, then get the out of my way. Yes, where you going today? Yeah. Yeah. You can't go to the Is your bag, man? Is your bag? Was anybody hit back there? Yes, yeah, so I'm going to go find out. All right. Why are they recording me? That's their right. It, that's their right. And Anybody it's my record? right to tell them to stop. Yeah. Not throw anything at anybody. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Did they, did you call the APD? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I just find out who is I'm sorry, yeah. guys. Except on. This crazy Karen couldn't wait to get out of the plane. So she starts arguing with people to make way for her. When they. But you know, all in all, I think they. they They treated that woman so, so wrong. I, I don't know why they did her like that. You know. It's as if they didn't know that she owned the plane and that she's used to getting her way. It's not her fault. It's not her fault. But this person, I just think he he's funny. I thought he, I think he's hilarious. He needs his own TV show, this next person. They don't budge, she loses her mind and bulldozes her way through. I understand that we all are waiting, but we go I under, uh, well, that's not how I work. I make the rules as I go. Well, it's, well, I make the rules as I go. I don't know about you, but I do. <laughs> well, I break well, them. Um, guess what? And I'm breaking them right now, too. Excuse me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yes, we do. Hostile. He is yes. too. He's right. knocking people yes. over. Don't be rude to me because okay. one thing I can do is be rude back to you. It's what I can okay. be. Okay. Oh. Let's just take it down. I am. You know why I like him though? I like him because he did exactly what I want to do to people when I'm on a plane. My God. Why don't they never like, okay, I know they're going to do like first class economy, whatever, right? Section by section. But for section by section, why can't they just say everyone who does not need to get a overhead bag, the people that don't need to get it, you get up first and walk out the plane. When I get on the plane, I want to just go in, sit down. And then when it's over and done with, I get up, get off the plane, boom. I usually can pack all my stuff in one bag. I'll get it at baggage claim. I cannot stand these people. They got they got a bag over there, a bag over there. Hold on. Hey, can you help me? Hell no, I ain't helping you get your bag down. What the hell wrong with you? Or before the flight. Oh. Oh, I, can you help me? I got to put my bag up. No. 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 Because if I planned on reaching up there, I would have brought my own. It's a reason I didn't bring one. I got my book bag by my feet. I pick up. I'm gone. Why do I have to wait behind y'all? And y'all know that it's people that stand up like ready to go and y'all still stand up y'all put y'all butt in the aisle and you blocked away on purpose and you being rude you know you are you seen me with just my bag you saw me get up before you um you said i just got my one bag boom i hate it i wish i could pelvis 
thrust people out my way the same way he did. I really do. So that's why I like I I love this video because he did something I wish I could do. I don't want to wait for you to get your crap together, and then they show on the screen on the monitor we're about to land. Be ready to get up and go. Be ready. Get the hell out the way. I don't know. They. I'm telling you. They need the everyone without overhead that just can stand up and walk off the plane immediately you first can't stand it man my god and then you got them people hey my bag back there by you and they just crowd surfing people's luggage to them I gotta wait for that I'm just like Oh, my God, especially if you've been holding your pee because I don't know who is who is the person you never see that goes to the bathroom and takes a number two. And how are they that good? Like, I don't know how they sneak in there and drop that deuce. And then you go to go use the bathroom and you walk in there and it's like it ain't the normal like. um you know, because bathrooms don't smell good anyway. But it's like you know somebody dropped, like, something dangerous in there. Like, oh, my God. And so I just go back and sit down and hold it. I I, I just, I can't be. And so then when the plane land, I just want to get off, go to the bathroom, get something to eat, drink or something. Like, to sit there and have to wait for them people and they overhead luggage. This man right here, to me, is a is a hero, to me. I'm just saying to me personally, and he's hilarious. He's like he needs his own show, for real, for real. But I'm just saying, she's talking I'm hostile, but she I can be rude as well. Yeah, just, yeah, I didn't push no damn body. You want to stand in the way like you're a bodyguard? I moved you out my way. Is what I did. Have a great day. He said that's so believable. And I kiss it more and more and more. And kiss your today. Yes. Don't tell me to kiss your. Don't do it's that. Not worth it. it's, That's, not it's not worth it. Oh, no. It's not because guess what? You you, you think I look pretty? Oh, but you the ghetto come out of me, darling. Oh, I know. I can see that everywhere. Yes, indeed. Thank you, darling. It is clear as that day. One more person. Wow. I know. Oh, that, that is so amazing. Do you want to buy a trick and lunch when I come to you? Up in the I aisle, in the answer, we're going to have a party. I'm so sorry. Listen, let me tell you. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. You have arrived in Fort Lauderdale? I didn't mean to. She she so wants to stay can. away. The flight attendants leave all right. That's good. That's good. I don't mind about the We're going to deep plane the aircraft in, the state in a very <laughs> civilized, polite manner. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to Fort Lauderdale. Thank Have a great day. So much. Polite manner, ma'am. <laughs> I bet you when you get off that plane, they're going to be best friends. They ain't going to stay mad at him. <laughs> anyway. Them are my um, favorite Karens. They are. They're my favorite Karens. The first one because they highlighted an issue that I just, I'm just now realizing that People stop adding to bad situations. Stop it. It is it's not worth it and you just wasting more time and you causing more trouble. Look at that person. That that person that first video got hit by that water bottle. They would have just been back there being quiet. That part of the video wouldn't have happened. But people look everybody has done something wrong. Everybody has been embarrassed or gone through something in their life. But you have the benefit that a million people didn't see you do it. So you can get over it. You can get better. You can move on. You, be, you can become a better and more amazing person. Allow that same courtesy to other people. That's all I'm saying. And maybe you perfect. Maybe you're not human like the rest of us. Cool. I understand. But I know for most people, 
you've been through some embarrassing moments. You didn't got to arguing with people when you thought they didn't do you right or whatever. Or something happened to you that you wouldn't want people to watch a million times and you wouldn't have to relive over and over again on the internet. Or when you was going through it, everybody had that moment in their life where it was like, if one person say one wrong thing to me, I feel bad for them, right? Because you're going through it at that time. So, anyway, man, that's my favorite camera. I said Cameron. I was listening to Cameron album earlier today. But that's my favorite Karen. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Be sure, like, share, subscribe. Appreciate all the support. Most importantly, drop a comment down below. Start the conversation. Risky, out. Risky behavior.